started. Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? Okay, so I put out a video yesterday, top 20 greatest debut records of all time. And I woke up today. What's that, Billy? It has the, the same problem. What is it? The audio is echoing. It's echoing bad? Yep. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe I just, just will turn, turn this off here. Can anybody hear, hear me? How about, How about that? that? Is that better, Billy? Really? Can you hear me now or not? Is that gone? Hello, hello, hello. It's, it's still there. Oh my oh, God. It's, good, it's, good. it's good. It's good now? It's good. Okay. Okay. Am I good? Okay, so I wake up today and I look at my emails and I see that my video has been blocked. So I go and check on my creator app and it got blocked at 4.35 a.m. So uh, how do I know that? Because I got this notice here. Now check this out. It says, top 20 debut albums of all time, copyrighted content, 21st century schizoid man. That's, that's good old King Crimson, right? And you see it's where it says manually reviewed by copyright owner or someone on behalf of the copyright owner. And it says aviator management and says from Germany, okay? So I was like, this is ridiculous. I go and look and it's nine seconds of the song that I played, nine seconds, okay? So I said, okay, I'm gonna try something different. And I look up to see if they, um, I look up to see if they actually have a phone number, which they did. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna call them. They're in Germany. I call them and I said, hey, my name's Rick. Um, I have a YouTube channel and I did a video yesterday that you guys blocked for nine seconds of use. Um, and this is not YouTube. I see people that always put this stuff in there. It's YouTube's problem. No, the artists tell the publisher or the manager how much of the of a song that they will play in there. It's not YouTube's deal. And I'm not going to other formats or anything. YouTube is great. The reason that you guys can see my videos is because I'm on YouTube. And YouTube goes out there and you know, you know you you're here because of YouTube. They go out and find people that are interested in the things that I talk about all the different groups that I talk about, all the topics I talk about, YouTube goes out there with their, with Google and they find people to bring them in here. It's not about YouTube, okay? So anyways, so I call them up and this woman gets on the phone and I'm talking to her for a second and I said, yeah, I've got a YouTube channel and I'm gonna make a video about this today. And I just wanna know if you have any content. She says, what? And I said, yeah, I'm making a video. I have, I have, YouTube. I have a pretty big YouTube channel. With, over a million and a half followers. I'm going to get on and do this. I want to see if you guys have a comment on this. Hang on a minute. And she puts some guy in the phone. Hello? And I said, yeah, I'm YouTuber. You guys blocked my video. It says, you guys are aviation management, right? Well, you blocked my video because I used nine seconds of a King Crimson song. Nine seconds where I was telling people about a song that came out 52 years ago about how it's one of the greatest debut records of all time. And he says, uh, I said, do you have a comment? Because I'm making a video about this in a few hours. And he says, uh, no, I, I don't have a comment. I said, okay, I just want you to go, and go on the record that you have no comment. So I went to see King Crimson last year. They were amazing, phenomenal. Um, and I worked with Tony Levin in the past, um, and he's an incredibly nice guy, right? Billy, are we still echoing? Um, we shouldn't be. I see this in here. No. Okay, so 
they manage, aviation manages a bunch of different artists, many artists, a lot of older artists like that. And they don't get this at all. They do not get how YouTube works. Okay, so complete aside here, um, I'm supposed to testify on a Senate committee, subcommittee hearing on the 28th about fair use, okay? Now, <laughs> when I got asked to do this, I said, this is nonpartisan, right? The guy that called me and asked me, I said, yeah. And I said, okay, fine, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do it. So I was telling my sister about this and she, she says, you know, I saw Don Henley testified on something with that. I'll send you the link to it. It's the same committee, okay? He testified a few weeks ago because I had seen an article about this, about his testimony whining about how they don't make any money, how YouTube uh, infringes on their copyrights all the time and he can't make any money, okay? So she sends me this thing and I'm gonna play you the Don Henley bit bit. Now you're gonna feel, uh, you're gonna uh, cry for Don here, okay? Uh, now, I probably shouldn't play this or talk about it since I'm testifying on it, but I don't care. If they don't want me to testify, that's fine. It doesn't make, make a difference. I'd rather be on here talking about it because way more people will see this. Um, by the way, oh, I'll get to this. Let me play this. By the way, I have a discount code for today's live stream. If you want to support my channel, this is how you support it because I don't make any money on these videos. And it's RB100, 50% off my Beato book, YouTube, Instagram transcri transcription bundle, and 30% off my ear training course. Okay, so here's a Don Henley uh, video. Listen to this. And, and uh, here we go, Don. I can't hear it. Can they hear it? No. We don't have one in there. No. Okay. Ah, uh, hold, hold on. on. Okay, I'm gonna play it from my phone here. I have to do it like this. It's uh, it's unbelievable. But it's I, I, you know I'd never heard Don Henley talk about this stuff before. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna share it with my phone. It's is easier to do this way here. By the way, I'm gonna tell you, here's the stats on blocks. So I have 732 videos on my channel, 732 free videos. Out of those 732 videos, 253 of them are demonetized. So a third of my videos are demonetized, which happens to be all my biggest videos are demonetized, okay? A, a, so, okay, so. Out of that, I had 465 copyright claims, 43 blocks, meaning 43 of my videos were taken down. Okay, there you go. Now here's Don Henley whining about, about him, about this. There are currently about 6 billion posts. Hold on, let me get it so you can see him. About his 6 billion now posts. Those let me just give you a perspective of the magnitude of the problem. There are currently about 6 billion posts on YouTube. And out of those Can you hear this? 6 billion posts, 4 billion of them are unclaimed. And out of those 6 billion posts, 84% of them contain music. Now, let's say it takes two minutes to file a claim. So at two minutes per claim, it would take 200 million hours to claim them and take them all down. At minimum wage, He's gonna it try would cost to. $2 billion. Of course, by then, there would probably be another billion posts on YouTube. So as has already been said, as you said, this is an endless game of whack-a-mole. And the notice and takedown system is badly broken. Universal Music Group administrates the publishing for the Eagles and here, myself. And here we go. A team of 60 people. 60 people work 60 for people him. people who sit in a room with computers and all they do all day long, five days a week, sometimes six days a week, is deal with the platforms such as YouTube and Facebook. They file claims and they issue takedown notices for the Eagles and for myself. 60 people. Those amount to between 200 and 500 claims a week 
Okay, so he has six. He has sixty people that go out there five and six days a week to file claims against YouTubers, and he goes on to talk about how he's doing this for the smaller uh, artists out there. Well, they're not making any money. He goes on to talk about how little you make from streaming and everything like that. It's like okay. You make only this much from a YouTube video, so why are you whining about it? For a million views on YouTube, you make 1,250 bucks, okay? That's it, 1,250 bucks. What about us? What about the YouTubers? What do we make? Now, I've, I'm fine, I don't, I don't whine about demonetized videos, right? People support my channel by buying stuff in my store or being part of the Beato Club. But either buying my book, which is on sale, RB100, 50% off my Beato book bundle. It's 600 and something pages. What, 670, Billy? A lot. 670 pages. Or my ear training course. It's on sale, 30% off today. Same discount code. Now, what about us? What about us? What about the YouTubers that spend hours? You know how long it takes me to make a video like this? Not like this, but a video. It takes a long time. Do I sit there and whine about this stuff? Do you guys say, oh, my, do you hear me come out? All oh, my videos get demonetized. No. I talk about blocking, about takedowns, about censorship. It's outrageous. He's on there. What If you see his face, he, he's just enraged over this. He's enraged. I mean, you get, just look at his face. My God, it's ridiculous. I'm not here whining about stuff. I just don't like, I made a video for free, okay? For free. All my What Makes This Song Great videos I make for free for people to enjoy. I work on them 12 hours a day, typically it takes to make a video. And I don't get compensated from YouTube, all right? Now, it's very easy to, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to testify in this committee, but it's pointless because this video will do more. Me talking to you here on my channel will do more than this video that nobody's going to watch in C-SPAN. And none of these senators, this is really a bipartisan, a nonpartisan thing because they're going to side with the big tech people anyways, right? Or they're going to sign with the, with the record labels, whatever. You know, and he's complaining about YouTube. It's like, come on. And then he goes on with what happens with a copyright takedown notice. <sighs> about how, how it is. He's talking about 250 of these a week. Oh my God, this goes on and on. It's ridiculous. What about the YouTubers though? What do they do? They just do this for free? Well, yes, they do. Most YouTubers I know all their biggest content are manually looked over, picked over, and they immediately demonetize the stuff when the videos come out, when you first get your, uh, when you actually make the most money. If you had a video that got demonetized, that didn't get demonetized. Like I said, if you want to support my channel, it costs 39 bucks or so to buy my YouTube transcription, Instagram, Beato book bundle. That's 675 pages. It took me years to write, okay? You can support the channel for about half of a guitar lesson. And you can enjoy my 700 and well, how many videos I have? 732 videos. 465 copyright claims, 43 blocks. So 43 of my videos, not all of them, there, there's probably about five videos that, uh, that I was able to clip out the offending parts. Black Sabbath, My Bloody Valentine, believe it or not. Um, I clipped out, I clipped uh, uh, King Crimson right out of my video and an hour, two hours later, it got put back up. You know what though? When it got put back up, it, it, they throttle the views back because it got blocked. So not as many people watch it. That's the problem right there. That's the other thing. Whoever says get off my lawn, block them, Billy. Get off my lawn. Anyways, 
So I'm going to testify in this committee. When you get, when people ask me, Rick, why don't you have Black Sabbath in there? Because I'm not going to waste my time promoting Black Sabbath for free. Well, that's not even for free. I'm not going to put in 15 hours of work on a video so that they can take it down as soon as I upload it. No way. I couldn't believe my bloody Valentine. That really bummed me out. Don Henley's worth way more than $200 million, too. He's just out there. He's, th he's talking about fighting the fight for other musicians. Give me a break. No other musicians making money off this stuff. Come on. And YouTubers, they do all this stuff for free. Every one of my friends, all the big YouTubers, every, thank you everybody for all the, the uh, that are donating money here to Super Chat. Really appreciate that. Um, anyways, it's ridiculous that I have to get on and talk about this stuff. It really is. But when I saw that Don Henley thing, and then I got this King Crimson thing. And these people, these this management company, they don't want to talk about anything. They're, they're embarrassed. But you know what? They represent a lot of different, a lot of different groups. This aviator management. A lot more than King Crimson. And they should know what they're doing on their behalf. And these old musicians. These guys aren't that much older than me. Come on. 15 years older? How old is Robert Fripp? You know, 75? I'm 58. You know? How come I know better that this is the way of the future? You know what? I go, I try to promote new artists on my channel. I don't just do this stuff. You guys saw when I interviewed Tosin Abasi, when I had Pliny in here, or I am promoting artists, new artists that realize that the importance of the internet, of YouTube, of Instagram, of all these different platforms. Um, screw these other people, these, these old people. But you know what? It's important for history. These guys were incredible songwriters. As much as of a, I won't even say it, as Don Henley is, he was an incredibly good songwriter and a phenomenal singer. I'll give him that. And I don't want to be part of a petition. I don't want to be part of a class action lawsuit. Nothing. I'm too old for that. Those things go on for too many years. I just want to teach on here. That's it. I want to just give back to people. That's all. Okay. I don't need to make a, I don't need to make a big deal about anything. I just want to teach and be left alone. Let me do my thing. That's it. Uh, okay, so once again, I've made 732 videos. 253 of them are demonetized. 43 have been blocked. Think about that, 43 videos that I worked on for a day. That's 43 days of my life. No, that's, there's, there's like, there's probably five that I've clipped things out of. So it's probably about 38 videos that I've put um, that I've put out that have been blocked. That I worked days on that got blocked. <laughs> Can you imagine working for 35, 38 days on, on stuff to just to have it blocked? When I'm praising and teaching everything I do on here for the most part, what makes a song great is not fair use. I'm using the original recordings. The, the artists deserve to make the money on there. No problem. I got no problem with that. I don't complain about that. Blocking, yes. <sighs> okay, if you want to support my channel, you can buy my Beato book bundle, RB100. Get my ear training course, RB100, 30% off. My Beato Book Bundle, 670 page PDF, 50% off today. That's how you do it. You know, you can buy something in my store, a t shirt, a mug, or you can become a member of the Beato Club. I never talk about the Beato Club on here. Uh, you can look that up on my website as well. You know, 
I don't like to get on here and complain. I'm going to testify in this committee. I don't know why. It's not going to do any good. But I'm going to do it anyways, even if it doesn't do any good. So there you go. Put likes down on here. I don't care if it's not going to do any good. That doesn't stop me. <laughs> I don't care. Um, these record labels are making a fortune on streaming. They figured out a way to do it, finally. After they destroyed the music business and the whole model of the music business, they, they, uh, they destroyed it then. All right. So that's what all I have to say, everyone. You guys are amazing. Thank you for sticking around. You know how to support the channel. You can donate here, Super Chat, at least for the next 20 seconds while I'm on. Billy, is there anything else I, I didn't say or what? Covered about all of it. You don't have to write to Aviator Management or anything like that. I don't care about those people. The people that are not being served are, are King Crimson. They're just not being served right, you know? Don Henley, who cares about Don Henley? My God. Great singer, great songwriter, terrible drum sounds. <laughs> just kidding, Don. I, it's what the 70s were. All right. You guys are the best. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the super chat donations, everyone. We'll see you later.